so today, well, the heat has been relentless. And now, yeah, I give up. I give up. But that's not where the story starts. It started during the morning when I drove towards Sörknatten. Now we're ready. Right now we're having a heat wave here in Dalsland, or basically the whole of Sweden, I think, and many other parts of Europe. <laughs> and it's still early in the morning, but it's already starting to get really, really hot. So I'm gonna have to make the best I can before I, it just simply gets too hot to even be outside. But today I'm heading up to Sörknatten and hopefully the wind is going to 
give a bit of relief up at the top there and that will be my sanctuary for a little while and then perhaps thinking that the car will be my sanctuary after that with the AC <laughs> So the ambient heat is, was just so, or it is just so great that I had to take off the hat. It's not the radiating heat from the sun that is that warm. It's the whole ambient just, it's just like being baked in an oven. A difficult day to be out for sure, but I have water with me and hopefully that will keep me going. I need to air my back a little bit. So behind me here, we have Sörknatten, which definitely holds the best view across all of Dalsland. There are other places that have great views, but none can match this because of because the views are 360 degrees. You can see towards the south, the north, the east and the west. And you can see far in every direction. The mountain itself isn't really that high. I think it stands at 190-ish meters above sea level. It's a beautiful hike. I've hiked here many times, photographed it many times, just enjoyed it many times. And if, if there is one place you should come to in Dalsland if you enjoy nature, then come to Sörknatten and you won't be disappointed. Let's just take a bit of water keep going. Right up there. I have Sarik Nathan. Almost there. When I'm up, it's time for breakfast. Oh, usually doing this hiking vlog. Hiking away from the camera or hiking towards the camera, going, setting it up and picking it up isn't a problem, but today, in this heat... Uh, today I'm questioning my own sanity. Not ideal. Not ideal at all. And my breakfast is probably melted and everything is destroyed, everything in my bag and... Yeah, let's whine a bit, let's whine. 
we still at the top, so let's be positive instead. Yes, let's be positive. If you followed me for any amount of time, you would probably recognize the top of Sörknatten here. As I said, it's a view all the way around. That is pretty unique in these lowland areas. Usually we have a cliff face and then we have forest behind it or at the side or something like that. But here, we have a forest in the middle of the mountain, but nothing surrounding it, which means views all around. This is a great visit. Let's find a place to sit down and have some breakfast. Usually, I would find a place in the sun to have a break, but for today, <laughs> the shade is more appropriate. It surely is. So, for breakfast, sandwich couple of them and then maybe some snacks after that and then lots of water <laughs> so let me just enjoy that and I'll let you enjoy the view well breakfast is done and the thing that I'm actually supposed to do now <laughs> is to film quite a bit so I have my camera here and uh, I need to film quite a bit for um, for my compilation nature compilation video my video about Sörknatta, I'm making a video for each and every reserve here in Dalsland, that's the idea at least, and I need to record footage for that, but it's so hot that I find it difficult to even concentrate, so even being out today trying to work is, <laughs> is a bad idea. Uh, I'm gonna have to try to get something done and uh, start to head down, you know, not wait too long basically before I start to head down. Over on the eastern side of, of the ridge there was actually a little bit more wind which makes everything a little bit more to tolerable. Uh, one of the worst things to today beyond the heat actually is the amount of flies. There are really a lot of flies. I'm not really used to there being that many flies here in Dalsland. Uh, but yeah, the wind is clearing that off a little bit at least. The thing I like to do when I'm at an area like this is actually taking the camera off the tripod and going handheld just a little bit to try to capture all different kind of, kinds of angles and yeah, just having the ease of flow and moving up and down and to the sides and trying this and that. And then when I have certain angles and such, I'm bringing back the tripod for certain stable shots. And yeah, then I have a good balance between more interesting flowing shots and more stable, secure shots. <laughs>
Luckily for me, a cloud covered up the sun. It's still warm, but we're getting away from that intense radiating heat from the sun. So I'm getting some work done. <laughs> well, the sun is back. I've gotten at least a bit of footage in. I'm gonna have to start to head down um, or else I'm gonna boil <laughs> up here. Uh, as I said, I got a little bit of work done, but I'm gonna have to come back another day when the heat isn't as intense. So I'm just, what I'm actually going to do is to try to make my way back as quickly and safely as possible towards the car. I have more water there and I have the cold from the AC. And for those of you wondering about temperature, it's upwards towards 30 degrees Celsius. So yeah, it is warm. It is pretty warm. Let's get down. Give me water, give me some water, give me water. It's sweaty. Oh. Oh. I suppose I should be lucky. Oh. Glad I put, uh, took a black shirt. So I'm just gonna pack all my camera gear back into the car, then get it going and get that AC running. Look forward to that. The road to and from the reserve is straight ahead here and to the right, right there we have a road. Uh, I've always wondered where it goes. I've never gone that way today, going there. So I haven't been driving far at all and I've already come to a split in the road. So let's look at the map and see how it looks. We are right there. So I can see down this road it goes and right there we have a gate which means I can't get any further than that, probably on the left road. On the right road, we have a bit more to explore. No gates up here, and it seems to go pretty far into 
um, a turnabout place there and this road around this little lake here looks even more interesting actually so the right one is the one to explore So just turned off the road here because I saw this little wind protection hut here and saw that I have a chimney. Look at this. A little fire stove. A wook pan. And Got a lot of wood here on the side. So that looks interesting. And uh, it looks pretty fresh, so somebody probably uses this quite a lot. It looks like this whole hut could be something to do with the hunting season. Um, my guess is that. Hunters sitting here having a good time waiting for someone to bring out the uh, big elk <laughs> so that was interesting let's drive on and see what else we, we can find on this mysterious road in the road this sign says camping forbidden And we have two signs up this road which are just placed by the side of the road. They're not like, they're not put on a stick or anything, so I'm not sure how legitimate those signs are. Uh, one of them says that your vehicle should maximally weigh one ton, 1,000 kilos. And the other sign is one that no traffic should go up there. So, but down here, um, I can explore at least. And up there, I'm gonna have to think about it whether or not. How seriously I should take that sign. <laughs> Parked the car just by the side of the road and right down here seems to have a really nice place quite accessible a fire pit and a lovely lake Places like this is what I'm really looking for when I'm out exploring by the car. Good places to hang around, have a fire, camp, even though well, I'm not camping perhaps, but just taking my family with me and having a good time out in nature. The only thing is the power line, which isn't that attractive. <laughs> It's quite noisy. 
even though you wouldn't see it if you sat down here, it's still pretty noisy. The end of the road. I have this hill right here. Uh, I kind of just want to jump up. I need to see what we can find up there. Like the view up there. So let's head there and see. That's a pretty all right view. Definitely worth a drive in here. The power line in the background there is detracting, detracting a bit, but still very interesting. Head back to the car and make some make some lunch, and then we'll continue the exploration. So you can see down here that there is a road that kind of continues. It isn't really a road, but I suppose they've been logging down here some uh, sometime. And I was thinking I could back the car down and park her just down there in the shade and then I could have lunch there. Uh, I want to back her down since there isn't really any place to turn around down there. And I'm thinking it easier to drive forward out of there rather than backing her out of there up, up the hill. So I think I'm gonna do that. Be a bit of a challenge, but I'm gonna do it.
That's a lot better than being up there. This is in the shade. <laughs> so, let's get some cooking going. And what's for lunch today? Eggs. I was thinking, package of baked beans. So when I'm cooking right now, uh, it's most, I would consider it pretty utilitarian. The food that I'm choosing is something that can stay warm in the car, uh, while of course trying to have some good energy and nutrients in it as well. Uh, so eggs, I can always take fresh eggs every, every morning into the car and there I get a great source of protein and nutrients and then just filling up with energy on something like baked beans and just mixing it up like that. In the future I'm thinking that the cooking is going to get a little bit more advanced. Um, I'm still in the beginning of this whole process, so we'll see where it goes. The reason for me using a wok pan like this is basically because it allows me to fry things and it allows me to boil things within the same pan, which is excellent. And of course, the thing I forgot last time I now have, salt for my eggs. So that's that done, not that advanced. Salt. I remembered it this time. Uh, a nice big plate of eggs and baked beans. Simple yet delicious. <laughs> So, let me just sit and enjoy my meal here, and then we'll continue on with the exploration, right? Yeah. So today, well, the heat has been relentless, and now yeah, 
I give up. I give up. So that brings us back to now. And I only got to explore one of the branching roads. So I have one yet to explore. So I'm gonna have to save that for another day when it's a bit colder uh, as well as the f extra filming that I need to do at Sörknatten. So I have a good reason to return here and I have a reason to return anyway since it's beautiful here. Uh, yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you did, then remember to like it, subscribe in order to stay tuned for more and share this video with someone who would like it. I'm sure there are tons of people who would like it, so do share it, please do. And yeah, that's everything for me this time. Until next time, goodbye.